breaking news. And good evening to you. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Brian Sanders. And I'm Carol Norris. And that breaking news, an arrest and the death of a two-year-old boy in South Tulsa. Two Works for You reporter Corey Duke just spoke with the child's mother, and she's live at the house where little Michael was found dead. Corey. Yeah, guys, well, I just left the home of Tina Taylor, whose son Michael was found dead in their home yesterday with bruises to his arms and his face. Now, Tina reached out to me to tell us her husband, Brandon Taylor, had been on the run. She tells me Brandon confessed to slapping the child in a reflex reaction to the toddler biting him. Tina says it happened Monday night when she was not home. She had gone to her mother's and left Michael at home. Upon her return, she says she was told Michael was asleep for the night, only to find him dead the next day. Tina says the last time she saw her husband was when he went to be questioned by police. Nowhere in your mind do you ever think, Oh, that person hits my kids because, you know, I never seen besides the one bruise that I was told was from a football. We requested a copy of the medical examiner's report. Once again, tonight's headline, an arrest has been made in the death of two-year-old Michael Rigney. On the News at 10, we'll have a full breakdown of the incident from Tina's perspective. We'll also have her reaction to the fact that an arrest has been made. Live in South Tulsa, Corey Duke, two works for you.